Usually, when journalists are testing expensive and premium cars, they do eat some hot dogs to demonstrate how cool and independent they are alongside the full disregard and all this to all that luxury stuff. But we are totally different journalists. We have equal attitude to all these cars. That's why today our story is not about the hot dog, but about a Jaguar XF. Its exterior is elegant and expressive, but after the Ford Mondeo presentation, including its famous radiator grill, it is still not clear which car is really Jaguar. Nevertheless, I hope that this cat on the radiator grill is something more than a Ford logo. I really hope so. For wow impression, or let's call it flossing, several items are responsible for. A shift gear controller and climate control air casing. And this lamp, which you can switch on or off without even touching it, almost always. Unfortunately, I'll disappoint all the orthodox luxury admirers, as you won't find here any bronze powder, zibeline and any kilometer of Karelian birches. The interior of this car looks more like a Catholic temple, but it's possible that it's not the highest Jaguar XF line. I really like that the steering wheel heating button is located exactly on the wheel. That's a windscreen heating at the same time. And here comes a quite strange thing. For the seat heating, you need to press this button. Further icons will appear on the trip computer. And only after the second press it works. Not logical, neither comfortable. But on the other hand, it would be even harder to turn it off if its button didn't exist. Some words about the multimedia system. It operates quite slowly and troubles might happen when you would like to use a navigation system. Especially if you are inside of the Jaguar for the first time. As everything is not that logical and clear for the first sight. Nevertheless, hopefully sooner or later, you'll get used to this navigation and even like it. Moreover, I like this rear view camera of a high quality. Look, somebody is over there. Don't understand, what is he trying to do? This vehicle is equipped with 2-litre turbo diesel engine, 180 horsepower, 430 Nm meters of torque. It does 60 miles an hour in 8 seconds. Frankly speaking, I am not impressed at all, as even a traditional 3.5-litre Toyota Camry will spot Jaguar in the blink of an eye after the start signal. When you hear the word Jaguar, you immediately imagine 5-litre engine. But in Ukraine we have a very interesting trend, that is to buy luxury cars with tiny engines, as it's cheaper in this way. Due to passport data, we have the most budget-friendly engine. Its city fuel consumption rate is 5.3 liters, while out of the city just 3.8. To be honest, for now the lowest rate on the trip computer is 9 liters. Maybe we don't know that much about the fuel consumption, but I'm more than sure that if we invite a Jaguar test driver, he will show us the result of 5 liters. Here we have an 8-speed transmission gearbox by ZF Company. And actually it's helpful for a car, as it helps to save fuel and demonstrates quite good smooth ride and if it's needed is quickly shifting in the sport mode. 
So the smooth ride, as I've told before, it's quite good here. Till we compare it to Mercedes, for now it's an unachievable result. But it's already ready to compete with BMW 5, for example. The suspension is good and powerful. It's like swallowing the potholes. However, the vehicle is steering easily, but unfortunately the acoustic discomfort will always accompany you. Without any doubt, Jaguar is a real philosophy, and it would be perfect if your grandfather was driving this car. By this car you shall go on perfect roads, come to the modern buildings, and your office might be the same nice after you go to the same perfect villa. All that stuff we do have in Ukraine, but alongside the less picturesque places where Jaguar will look strange and improperly. One more difference is people. Yeah, people on the back seat. In European countries, Jaguar is emphasizing its owner's status. When you see its passenger, you understand, this person is rich for several generations. In Ukraine and Russia, the passengers are not that single-valued. You may absolutely meet strange guys like this one. So, all of this Jaguar light or Puma Pro story in such an occasion looks like this. A person who's buying this car is like a saber-toothed squirrel who is empowered with two tiny teeth and is trying to catch on the iceberg top, which is called as Jaguar. But to my mind, Jaguar owns another spirit. Powerful engines, great torsion torque, an unbelievable acceleration and a great deal of luxury options, of course, which I still can't find in this car.